what in the world is behind you that it, the, the, the you have like a white castle um something going on back there like like what is that for for those of you who just listening you can't see them yeah those are awesome yeah, those legos. Are they're legos. like no, three right. times the size of my legos yeah. so about 10 years ago we were approached um with a new building concept and uh yeah. you know we all get approached with these new ideas and you know like, like most people kind of roll your eyes you're like yeah yeah it sounds too good to be true and, and the gentleman kept coming back now you got to believe me this is this is this is this is real my dad and I flew to Turkey in 2010, actually, and he had built a 10-story apartment building out of these Lego blocks, for lack of a better word. Holy cow, there's people living in this building, right? It's 10 stories. That's that's pretty legit, right? So he said, all right, let's take a look at this. Started unpacking it, and I'll try to give you a short summary, but the, the, the company is now, and the product is called RINCO, which stands for Renewable Composites. It's made of recycled glass, recycled plastic calcite right like a limestone dust and then a resin that holds it all together so it's a composite but for conversation you could almost look at it like a fiberglass super strong super durable uh our first building that we built in palm beach wow. florida is a 96 unit apartment with this they gave us uh as you know you know wood is what 25 year lifespan typically concrete 40 years insurance company gave us 250 years in our very first nice. building we think we'll get it over 500 years so super durable which means lower insurance costs right super strong super easy to assemble you see it's lego blocks um uh -huh. we were on the cover of uh enr not too long ago and and that's literally the plans that we use they are color coded so when you're out there building you get these lego blocks they weigh like eight pounds and you stack them in place okay you get a red one you get a blue one you get a green one all unskilled labor. So it's very fast. No crane, no heavy equipment needed. Oh, wow. You can do a floor in a few days, right? With this, there's no cure time. There's no rebar. There's no inspections. So very fast, very affordable. It's about 20% less expensive than a comparable structural material, whether that's wood or concrete or whatever. So yeah, really exciting company. We were actually just about to complete our first manufacturing facility in the United States uh, in March of this year, um, we've been supplying out of Turkey, uh, where our big factory is. Uh, as I mentioned, finished our first building in Palm Beach. We passed all the international building code. We can build in basically 99% of the U.S. today. We are approved, fully ready to go. Hurricane, you know, Category 5, uh, tested, have the two-hour fire rating, off-gas, termites, like what everything you need. <laughs> we spent like a decade doing this crap. But uh, it's a really cool system and uh, yeah, excited to bring it to market. That's, that's really cool. I mean, so if, how do you build with it? So this is, this is, you hit the architect thing before, right? They are, um, creative. Well, but this is a system that has a set of constraints yeah. now, but it's, it's not, I mean, it's not like you said, okay, here's the only ways you can be, build the Legos. By the way, I, I, I do have to build Legos from the thing they give me because uh, my creative brain makes things that fall over. So how do the, how does somebody consume this? Like, how do you see this as you build that factory? You're not going to just want your own people doing it. So how does that work? It, it, it's, it's so cool. And this is what's so I'd say transfer revolutionary, but we, I really don't want this to be stuck in this like modular prefab mindset. Because that's very limiting, right? And you get kind of model A, B, or C. And I think we're kind of like the opposite of that in many ways, where like Legos, that as a kid that you're playing with, you can build sort of whatever you dream of because the sizes of the pieces are completely variable. So we have two inch pieces and we have 42 inch pieces and everything in between. And with the combination of those materials, whatever you or the architect sort of dream up send it to us overnight we run it through a software that then comes up with the ideal block configuration we like to get plans in the sort of sddd phase because we might have to move a wall one inch to fit you know our configuration or two inches here but like minor you know tweaks to it before you go to construction docks and we tell you okay here's how many blocks you're going to need we ship it to you shows up in a crate you pour a slab uh, we have an anchor bolt system for our, our, our first uh, our first course, and then you stack the blocks from there. It's glued together. But you'll love this. Uh, we actually went to Boeing like eight years ago, and 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 uh, I'm sure you realize that 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 Dreamliner you know about this is glued together, right? And it's a composite system. So uh, you know a lot of the new composites, boats and and planes are glued together. The glue joint acts like a weld 
chemical reaction occurs and it's actually stronger than the material in the block itself. So in our first building, for example, three-story building, that 30, 35 foot wall is basically monolithic because the glue joint connects all of it. So it, it's incredibly strong. Uh, so you, you stack the block, you put a glue joint, boom, you put it down. We got a two hour cure. And the blocks, I don't know if you can tell from behind me, but they're hollow on the inside. So you can run your MEPs through the middle of the block. You can put one of the channels, you can fill with insulation, put your drywall on, and you can get R factor, you know, whatever you need based on your local building code. So really easy to assemble, put together. And one last thing I'll mention is the finishes of finishes. You can you know, put, a, I don't know, marble all right, on, on the inside and stucco on the outside or a wood cladding. Or, I mean, it could be a Four Seasons or it could be workforce housing or anything in between. So we're just the structure of it. And again, can, can configure to basically any design you dream up. And Jeff, if you decide you want like a round of building, we'll make a mold for you. It's 25 grand, call it, for a new mold. Do that mold and you'll have a round building. It's no problem, right? Uh, we're just trying to standardize everything uh, to the best of our ability. 